Hey guys, it's Kristen from the vlog The Petite Pear Project, and today's video is all about where to find bike shorts that are pear friendly. So every time that I have gone shopping for leggings, bike shorts, anything of that nature, usually I find myself encountering a waist gap at some point. So basically the pants or the leggings fit me in the hip area, but then they're too big in the waist. So throughout this video, I was super careful when trying different brands to find options that did not have a waist gap because that is honestly my biggest pet peeve. And if you've been following along for a while, you already know that. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. So let's dive in and go through all the different options that I tried. So right now I am wearing Nike's bike shorts. And what I do like about them is they are super high-waisted. They're coming up above my belly button. Um, I will say there's like a teeny tiny bit of camel toe action. It's less obvious in the video. It's more obvious in the photos. Um, and I will note they are like a little tight down here around my thigh. So they're not my favorite for that reason. Um, additionally, there is a waist gap in back. Um, additionally, I just want to point out that it feels like the back rise of these is not quite long enough. So that's like my other qualm with them. So for me, these are a no, um, but I do really like the color. So right now I'm wearing the Adidas bike short. It has a pretty substantial waistband. They're super high rise, which is awesome. So I do have a waist gap in back, which is not ideal. You can see there. Um, compared to the Nike ones I just had on, they are much more comfortable in terms of the fabric and then also how tight they are around my thigh. They are much more forgiving, there's more spandex or something, but they're just more comfortable. Now let me give you a look at the back side of them. Um, again, there's a little bit of a waist gap, but the back rise, compared to the Nike ones, the back rise definitely feels long enough on these, so I am very happy about that. Um, but again, because they have a waist gap, these ones are a no for me since I found some better options. So moving on to the Nike One seven inch bike shorts. These are by far the best value out of all the styles that I tried. It's like a very soft, um, comfortable, kind of like swishy material. I don't know how else to describe it. The past two, the Adidas and the other Nike options I showed you feel a lot more like cottony and these feel a lot more um, smooth and sleek. So they feel just a little bit different fabric wise. Again, they're super high rise like the other options I just tried on and showed you. Um, I love how high rise they are. They're super comfortable in that regard. Again, they're super comfortable here around my thigh. They don't feel too constricting like the other option from Nike that I showed you guys. I'll say that I do have like a little bit of a waist gap back here, like the band is gapping. However, it feels like the back rise is long enough. I don't feel like it's digging into me, but they are kind of gapping, which is not ideal. But even though there is gapping in the back waistband, I wouldn't call it a deal breaker by any means. Let me show you the backside because they do in fact stay up, which is great. Um, so, you know, given the price that they're, they're $40 and a lot of the other options that I found for this blog post, it was honestly hard to find more affordable options. Most things that I saw were like $60, $50, um, some cases like $80. So they're definitely like a really good value, but like there are some trade-offs in terms of, in terms of the fit. Are the Girlfriend Collective bike shorts. These are again, like a, I would say like relatively affordable price point. They're $48. A lot of the other options I tried in this post were more expensive. So I do like that they are more affordable out of the options. The only thing I don't like about as with these shorts is that I tend to get kind of these horizontal drag lines around my crotch. It's more obvious in the photos, um, but for some reason they just don't fit me well. I tried their leggings back in like January or February and I had the same problem with the leggings. I was like crossing my fingers and hoping that these like might be a little bit different, but they were not. Um, additionally, I have a little gapping back here 
they do stay up and the back rise feels long enough but i have some gapping back here finally i'll give you guys a look at the back side but for me they, these are a no just because i did find better options like i would say the nike ones over these and also aloe yoga over these too and finally moving on to the snakeskin bike shorts from aloe yoga out of all the styles that I tried, these and then the black, solid black bike shorts from Aloe Yoga were definitely my favorite in terms of how high rise they are and then where they fall on my leg. I like that they are not so far down to my knee, um, especially since I'm a little bit shorter. Um, they fit really well in the back. Like they're a little, you know, a little stretchy, but have like pretty much no waist gap. There's a little, like little tiny gapping, but the back rise is long enough, so I don't feel like they're sliding down. They feel comfortable. Let me show you the backside, but yes, they are coming up high enough. I don't feel like they're sliding down at all, and they are just super soft as well. They're like so soft, and these are the ones that I ended up keeping, so wanted to share them with you. So now that we've gone through all the reviews, let's rehab. So my favorite pair by far are the bike shorts from Aloe Yoga because A, I literally had no waist gap, B, they're super comfortable, super soft, and they come in lots of different colors, patterns, etc. So they're really amazing for that reason. And then if I had to give an award for best value, it would go to the Nike One bike shorts. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. I hope that it will help you with finding the perfect bike shorts for you that are truly waist gap free. And if you enjoyed this video today, be sure and subscribe. That way you can get notifications every time that I upload a new video and have a wonderful day.